The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. I uh, just want to start off today by saying thank you to all of you for taking some time out of your day to join me and Carrie Freeberg with Equitable. Um, if you guys are in for a treat. We've got Carrie who uh, actually worked on the design of the products that we're going to be looking at today, and she's one of the actuaries over at Equitable. So you guys actually are getting the information from uh, – straight from the home office, straight from the design team. So it's pretty exciting to have her on the line. We really appreciate you joining us today, Carrie. So I'm just gonna go through a few of the intro slides here, and then I'm gonna hand it over to Carrie. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Laura Johnson. I work here at IMS on the annuity department. So anytime you need help with any case design or wanna bounce a couple things off of me, need illustrations, feel free to give me a shout anytime. With this, we're going to go through, like I said, a couple of the intro slides here. There's going to be a couple poll questions that pop up. The quicker you guys answer those, the quicker we can get moving forward. So starting off today, though, I just want to talk about a few incentive programs we've got available here at IMS. Uh, we're going to start off by talking about our new producer bonus. Uh, if you're brand new to IMS, maybe haven't joined IMS yet or just recently joined, this would be available for you. It is our new producer bonus. Um, as you can see, there are three different tiers here, $100,000, $300,000, and $500,000 levels. Um, so for $100,000 annuity or single premium life case, you can get $750 cash. We'll build you a website for two years and pay for it, or you can get the latest generation of an iPad. Uh, if you decide not to cash out at the $100,000 level and go for the $300,000 level, as you can see on the screen, you can do a mailing. It will pay for a $3,000 postcard mailing in regards to Social Security, as well as uh, get your Social Security software. Uh, we'll do $2,000 worth of marketing reimbursement or $1,500 cash. Uh, and if you decide not to cash out there and go for the $500,000 level, as you can see, um, we would pay for your one-on-one -on -one coaching with one of our two seminar coaches, as well as pay for the first mailing on your seminar. Um, or you can do some Ritz-Carlton travel rewards. I will mention there is a marketing reimbursement, and a cash option at that level as well. So if you're curious where you sit, if you qualified, give your marketer at IMS a call. They can look into it and see where you stand. After you're done with your new producer program, we do remove or we do move you into a marketing reimbursement program. So for all the premium you're writing with IMS, you're going to be earning uh, marketing dollars. So for uh, every 100000 of fixed indexed annuity premium you write, you're going to get $100 of marketing reimbursement for every 10,000 of life target premium you write. That'll be equivalent to $200 of marketing reimbursement. And for every 100,000 of single premium life business you do would get you $200 as well. So some great ways to get some marketing dollars help IMS partner with you on some of those expenses. One other incentive program we do have available, as you know, your business is built on referrals and so is ours. So we do have a referral program here at IMS as well. Uh, just a way for us to say thank you for the referral. When your referee gets contracted with us, $50 for you. When they write their first piece of business, $100. Then going forward, we're going to pay you 20 basis points override on all the business they write. This is paid out quarterly, so we don't pay it out as business issues, but we do pay it out uh, quarterly. Um, it's just a great way to get some extra cash. It doesn't come out of your commission. It doesn't come out of your referrals commission. This is something that comes out of IMS's pocket just saying thank you. So. A uh, great way to get some extra cash without taking on the responsibility of building an agency or a hierarchy. Um, here at IMS, as part of our name, Insurance Agency Marketing Service, uh, we really uh, hone on on the service aspect of it. We're not looking to be the biggest FMO out there. We're looking to be number one when it comes to service and relationships. Um, part of that includes doing all your case design. You know, anytime you got a case you're working on, give our life or annuity team a call, we'd be lo we'd love to do the design for you, go do some research, see which carrier is really gonna be the best fit based on what your client's looking for. Once you do write a piece of business, you know we're gonna make sure you have all your training and help you get everything you need done so we can write the case in a clean way. Um, get you all the apps and brochures, anything you need. So then once you write your piece of business, if you send it through our office, we'll scrub the application, help you get it in good order, then get it submitted, and then Amber and her team does a phenomenal job Following up on the business every three to five business days, they're going to help chase the money. They're going to help make sure everything goes smoothly through suitability and just keep you up to date on what's going on on your cases. The goal with this is so that you guys can do what you do best, and that's stay in the field uh, making sales. 
We like to do that follow up all the way till you are paid your commission. So from A to Z, really want to help you with that. Uh, one other thing I will mention is we do have a paperless contracting system. So once you have completed our contracting paperwork and it is on file, as long as we've got your current ENO, current license, current bank information, we can add carriers anytime without you having to do additional paperwork. So really trying to make things as easy for you all as we can. Uh, if you haven't worked with our creative department, um, you're missing out. Uh, Jacob, Sean, Aaron do a phenomenal job uh, working for our agents. What they do all day is they're graphic designers and IT people who can help with turnkey solutions, maybe uh, some branding stuff you're looking new to the business or new to insurance business and looking to kind of make a name for yourself. That's really where we want to start off is the branding. Make sure you have a logo and a color scheme and a you know, help you get business cards done. And then going forward, any marketing we do for you, we can apply that uh, logo, that design, that color scheme to everything we do, whether it be website, email marketing, social media marketing. Maybe you want to do a newsletter, send out a little handout, you know, all those things. We can brand those then to you. So if you got something you're looking for on the marketing side, um, give one of the people in the creative team a call. Let them know what you're looking to do, and they'd be happy to help you out. If you haven't been out to our website before, as you can see on the screen, it is www.imesinc.com. A lot of great resources out there. We're not going to go through all of them. A couple of key things that I'll point out is if you go under the products tab, under the life area, you can do a lot of life quotes as far as term, IUL quotes, things like that. Get all the forms you need. On the annuity side, if you go to the annuity portion, you'll have access to annuity rate watch, where you can see what current rates are, who's got the best caps. You can look at, you know, maybe I use it on the daily for clients who are looking for income. All right, I'm 55 and need income at 65. Who's going to give me the best? Well, Annuity Rate Watch is going to tell me every carrier from top to bottom so that when I go talk with you as the agent, we can look at the top four or five carriers, see which one's really going to be the best uh, for what your client's needs are. So you do have access to those things through our website. The other thing I will mention is if you go under the support tab, we've got our sales resource library down there. Um, it's a great resource. Um, I use a lot of different things out there. There's a ton of different fact finders. That's probably one of the biggest things I get on there for. You know, I've got agents working on big estate cases. Maybe they're looking for a fact finder that specializes, you know, cent centers around the estate. Um, we've got those out there. Um, financial calculators. You've got a client looking to do a 72T or 72Q and need to do some calculations. We've got all those calculators available on that sales resource library as well. Another thing that I use it a lot for, there's a lot of great client presentations. These are client approved, generic information on maybe your client wants to know what a fixed indexed annuity is. Well, there's a 10 page document telling them anything they would ever need to know about a fixed indexed annuity. Um, I had someone yesterday asking for kind of like a life slash long-term care hybrid product. There was a client presentation out there for that. So ton of great resources out there. If you need help finding it, give myself or your marketer here at IMS a call. We'd be happy to walk you through that. A few years ago when the DOL was kind of hanging over our heads, we did, uh, Stephen Charles decided we were going to enter the security business as well. So we do have an RIA in this office. Uh, we really built this R IRA from the ground up designed for the insurance producer who maybe wasn't looking to enter the security market but was kind of forced to with the way that things have been going. So uh, Charles Jr. heads up that with Mike Hansen and Joan. They do a great job for our advisors. Uh, we do clear through TD Ameritrade. We do have our back office as Fusion Capital Management down in Texas. So i uh, been around for quite some time, very large agency down there. Um, so some great expertise backing Imes Wealth Management up. Uh, a couple things I will mention, if you do have your 65 or CFP and you're looking to maybe make a move or look for some for a home, check out Imes Wealth Management. I'm happy to set up a call for you guys. But one other thing I will mention is we do have a soliciting program, so maybe you're not interested in getting your license or maybe you're studying for it and haven't got it yet. Um, we've got a soliciting program where if you refer those clients over to Imes, Depending on the state you're in, we may be able to pay you a portion of the fee that we are charging to the client. I'm going to throw up the first poll question as I finish talking about the soliciting program. So if you do answer yes to this, it'll just generate a phone call um, from one of the guys over in wealth management. 
Um, again, though, that soliciting program is limited on, I mean, we can set you up as a solicitor pretty much in any state, but being able to pay you a portion of the fee would uh, depend on the state you live in. So if you do have any questions on that, give Mike Hansen or Charles Jr. a call. They'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Life and Annuity Academy. This is one of my uh, favorite events that IAMS puts on. I think it's a great opportunity for you agents. This is a two and a half day training. We usually co-sponsor this with one of our home offices. Um, our next one's actually going to be taking place next week up at Athene's home office. It's a two and a half day training really designed to help you all grow your business. I will mention this is not for the new producer looking to just get into the business and learn about annuities and life insurance. This is an annuities 101 or life insurance 101. This is going to be much more in depth sales concept, techniques, ideas. Um, how can we help you grow your business? How can we take you from already writing maybe a half a million and help you grow that right in millions a year? Um, we're going to bring in some of our top producers. They're going to share with you exactly what they did to go from being at the bottom and working their way to the top. So um, I think it's a really great uh, two and a half day training. I think it's worth the time to take out of the office, come out, see some new uh, sales concepts here from other producers. And also the room's filled with 40 other people out in the field doing exactly what you're doing. So uh, being able to bounce things off of other people attending the meeting as well is always a great thing. So like I said, our next one is this next week up at Athene's home office. We have not announced the dates for our next one. I will tell you it will be after the first of the year. Not many people like to come visit us in Omaha or Des Moines in the middle of winter. So next one should be after right at, shortly after the first of the year, and we might be doing a uh, off-site location. Last year we were down in Dallas, so stay tuned. We'll be uh, making announcements as soon as we have anything finalized. If you are interested, though, in attending one of our academies, go ahead and answer yes to the poll question I just threw up. That'll send you a pre-registration link letting us know that you are interested so that when we do announce the dates for our next academy, we'll be sure to let you know um, the dates and see if we can't get you into that academy. If you haven't answered the question, if you could do so, so we can move on, that'd be great. Alrighty. And we're going to be announcing here shortly our producer's escape for 2021. Qualification did just start in July, so... You're at the beginning of the time frame, so we can't quite, we aren't going to announce quite yet where it's at until the paperwork's signed. We can't release that yet, but it'll be an 18 month qualification. So just know that all your life and uh, life annuity, any of the business meds up, long term care, anything you're writing with IMS is going to count you toward our next escape. I know all of our agents, we took about 80 of them down to Naples, Ritz Carlton down in Naples this last month. Had a great time. It's a great way for IMS to say thank you for the business you do with us. It is all expense paid for you and a guest. So really a great way um, to earn a nice trip for you and your spouse or you and your friend or whoever you'd like to bring with. With that, I am going to hand it over to Carrie. She is going to jump in and talk about Equitable, some of their products, where they're competitive um, with the interest rate environment being what it has been lately. I think you'll be excited to see what Equitable's got for you. So with that, Carrie, I'm going to turn it over to you. And again, we appreciate you joining us uh, today for uh, this webinar. Perfect. Thank you, Laura. I just want to confirm you're seeing the right screen, right, Laura? Correct. Yeah, I see Teton series. Okay, perfect. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so yeah, as Laura said, my name is Carrie Freeberg. I'm Director of Product Development at Equitable. I am an actuary. Don't let that scare you. Um, we are not going to be getting into the nitty gritty details today. However, if you do have questions, I am an actuary. So you can ask the technical questions. I should be able to answer them for you. Um, I've been a part of the design team that designed this product as well as Secure Savings, which we'll touch on just very, very briefly. But again, we're going to be um, digging into all the fun stuff with these great products that we're just excited to get to offer at Equitable. So a little bit about us to start off. Um, we are a new company to the indexed annuity space. However, we are not a new insurance company. We've actually been around since 1935. Um, 
We are domiciled in the state of Utah. We are Utah's oldest active life insurance company. I think it's fun that we're in Utah. We're, we're just a little bit different. You see, we have a lot of nature, mountain themes, all that kind of stuff going on. A lot of that comes back to, you know, where we're located. One thing I love to point out is that we are a company. Everything that we do, we make sure that we are singularly focused on one objective, okay? So that's to the products that we're going to talk about as well as to our distribution. We are singularly focused on independent agent distribution. That should matter to you guys for a number of reasons. Mainly, every product we design, every procedure we put in place, every sales material we put together, we design it solely for you guys to help you help your lives be easier when you do business with us. So again, we're laser focused on independent agents. We love this distribution. And we actually do a ton of training in our home office um, to let everyone know that our clients are extremely important to us, obviously. However, we wouldn't have any of them if it weren't for you guys. So every employee at Equitable at every level has gone, goes through regular training reminding everyone that it is our agents that why we have our policyholders and our agents are really our main client at the end of the day. So hopefully that mentality makes it a little different, Ho hopefully feel a little bit different when you work with Equitable. We are licensed to do business in 46 states as well as the District of Columbia. I know the big blue blob over there on the left, we're actively working in California. We are optimistic that we will be good to go in the states of California and Minnesota by the end of this year. New Jersey is going to come a couple years later just based on their rules, but hopefully California and Minnesota will go from blue to green shortly. Real quick, let's touch on secure savings. This is actually the number one product in the entire industry for independent agents. So secure savings five is ranked number one. And you know, I look at these sales surveys all the time, but I gotta tell you, even in my spot, when you look at it and you see um and you see, you know, the product ranked as number one, I still get a, some chills when I see that. So Secure Savings 5, number one, and Equitable with all of our MIGAs is ranked number two in the entire in industry based on um, business in the second quarter. So let's look at what the products look like. We have our Secure Savings line and then its sister, the Elite line. The Secure Savings line can be written all the way up to age 90, the Elite line up to age 85. We have minimum premiums of $10,000 and maximum of 500. However, we are open for business. We have a large case approval form, fill that out. I see premiums higher than 500 get approved all the time with us. Here's our rate. So the secure savings line, we have a two year and a five year. And I think of this line as being our Apple computer. Okay, so this is where everything is built in. You decide the size. You decide if you want the two year or the five year. Liquidity is built in, full account value at death is built in. So the two year has a rate of 275 on a two-year product, I believe we're the only two-year product actually out in the industry. And the five-year product is a rate of 375. Um, those are compound rates. What you're going to see at Equal, we try to keep things as simple as possible. So we, we don't play any games with simple interest or anything like that. We got compounds. All of these withdrawals are automatically built into the secure savings line. You get RMDs available immediately, interest only available right away, and 5% free available starting in the second year. Essentially, the policyholder can pick the greatest of any of those withdrawal benefits each year. Okay, you can't take out multiple withdrawals each year for free. Um, so that's all built in and we have full account value at death and on every product at Equitable, we always offer spousal continuation. I love the spousal continuation benefit. What it means is if the owner passes away, the spouse can choose to step in and just continue the contract. So if they like us, they can just stay with us, finish up the contract, everything moves over to their name. What's important for you guys is if that death happens in the first year or during the chargeback period, there's no chargeback at death if the spouse decides to step in and continue. So I always like to mention that. The elite line I think of as more of like our Dell computer. This is where you can really tailor the product to fit your client's needs. So um, we know that, you know, knowing about having free withdrawals available is important. However, what we also know is it costs money 
And for me on the actuarial side, I see not very many people actually use those benefits. So what we did on Elite is we said, let's pull those benefits up. Let's pull liquidity out and let's even pull out account value at death. Let's do cash value at death with spousal continuation as well. And let's see how high we can juice those interest rates. So here on our super short two-year elite, you actually see the fixed rate go from 275 all the way up to 3.1%. And I love this product because for two years, you can see how our client can say, okay, you know what? I feel pretty comfortable <clears throat> for the next two years. I have other funds elsewhere that if I have an emergency, I can tap into. Give me the biggest rate I can possibly get. Okay, so I love that on the two-year. And on the five year, we were actually able to get our rate from 375 all the way up to 4%. <clears throat> but a key point, the client can still have liquidity. They just get to pick the liquidity that they actually would use and that they would actually need. They don't have to have their rate be dragged down by a bunch of liquidity that they aren't planning on using. So if it's qualified money, put on the RMD liquidity rider. Instead of a 310 rate, it drops 10 basis points, to 3%. Instead of a 4% rate, it would drop to 390, okay? If they don't have qualified money, don't pay for RMDs, obviously, and just do interest only um, for six basis points or do 5% free. Now, here's the cool thing. You can buy none of those liquidity riders. You can add on one, two, or even all three. And if you add on two or three, you guys, what that means is you actually can take out two or three free withdrawals each year, okay? So um, <clears throat> think about it on the five-year elite. You take out your RMD, okay? Let's, let's call that 5% on average. Take out interest only, that's a 4% withdrawal, and then take out your 5%. You're at a 14% free withdrawal on Secure Savings 5 Elite. And you still have an extremely competitive interest rate and just great, great benefits as well. So um, secure savings, that's where uh, on the five year, that is certainly our flagship product. But this elite line has some unique features that aren't common in the marketplace that can provide your client very meaningful benefits and benefits that are really, really tailored to them and their specific needs. We also have a great elevation bonus on the Elite line as well. Again, this is on the Secure Savings Elite 2 or 5. Um, this is a monthly bonus program payable directly to you guys. So if you write for the month um, $250,000 to $500,000 of premium that gets issued, you get an extra 25 basis points. $500 to $749, you get $50, and $750 and above, you get $75. This is not the kind of incentive that you can fall behind on and never catch up every single month stands alone. If you have a good month, you'll get a bonus. If you have a slow month and you go on vacation, fine. Um, no big deal. You can qualify the next month, okay? Um, we pay these bonuses out by the 15th of the following month. And again, every single month stands on its own. So there's that as well. Here's where the products are approved. So um, we have the MIGAs in all 47 states that we do business in. Um, the blue states is where we just have Secure Savings 2 and 5. I will let you guys know that Louisiana will be getting the Elite products here within the next month. It's actually approved. We're just waiting to release them. With that, we'll move on to Teton. I always love that picture. Um, so just so you guys know, the Tetons are actually a mountain range in the state of Wyoming. And one unique thing about the Tetons is that they are actually still growing. So about a year ago when we started working on our accumulation product, our accumulation FIA at Equitable, we thought that's a great name to tie our accumulation product to, you know, the strength of a mountain that is still, that is still growing. And when we started working on this, um, to tell you the truth, we wanted to kind of get back to the basics of index annuities. We really wanted to come out with something really clean, really simple, kind of a breath of fresh air, if you will. Um, I don't know about you guys, but um, I'm a pretty technical person, but I'll tell you what, products have gotten crazy complicated to the point that I can't 
even figure out all the details of some products that are out there. And I'm someone, I'll read the policy form, I'll go through all the materials, I'll dig in the illustration, and I still, there's products out there that I'm like, you know, I'm not exactly sure how this works. We wanted to get away from all of that. We wanted to get back to the main value proposition of an indexed annuity that, um, you know, you have the chance of earning an interest credit that is better than your fixed account, and your worst case is a zero, right? That's changed over the last couple of years. With income riders, we got these great benefits with income, but with that also came fees, right? And so with the fees, all of a sudden you have a year where your client gets a zero, and you actually have to talk about why they went negative because of that fee for the year. We wanted to get away from that. We didn't want all of these distractions. We really wanted to get back to you know, the main star of the show with index annuities and get back to clean accumulation. And again, like I said, we are laser focused and we're laser focused on Teton providing industry leading performance. And we want to do this in a very consistent, competitive, long-term way so that you guys see that we are a company that is here to stay and that is going to be a consistently competitive partner to you guys. Um, those secure savings rates we just talked about, we actually held some of the strongest rates in the industry for 11 and a half months. That tells you that we are here to stay. It tells you that we are not coming out with hot rates and then we pull back you know, two months later. We don't wanna do that. We, we know how disruptive that can be to you and to your business. So we want to be very, very, very consistent. We're gonna talk about that more here as we get, get into all of this. So with Teton, it's really one product, one series, but we talk about really two product lines. Okay, we have the Teton line, which has a seven year, 10 year, and a 14 year. It's our kick butt accumulation line. And we have Teton bonus, seven, 10, and 14 year, which is a great accumulation line, but the rates caps are just a little bit lower to pay for that premium bonus that the client's getting. You're indifferent which one your client picks. The commissions are the same between Teton and Teton Bonus, and everything else on the product is exactly the same between the two, except for you know the rates and the and the premium bonus that gets applied. So our seven-year products can be written up to age 90, 10 year up to age 85, and our 14-year products up to age 80. Minimum premium is 10,000. We do allow additional premiums for the first 12 months and our maximum total premium is 1 million. Again, you're open for business, fill out that large case approval form, get it in. I see approvals larger than a million all the time. Those additional premiums um, do go to the fixed account for the first policy year, okay? They get the full premium bonus, they get the full commission, and then once we hit that first policy anniversary, then they get reallocated to all the index strategies. All right, let's talk about the star of the show on this one, and that is accumulation. At this point, all of the accumulation provided with Teton and Teton bonus is based on the S&P 500 index. We actually have a great piece called How Your Annuity Will Grow that talks about um, how the S&P is really the benchmark of the US equity market and how trillions and trillions of dollars are tied to it. And also talks about its long history dating all the way back to 1957, as well as what companies make it up. So check out that piece. I know there's pieces on all of these new indexes that are out there, but this is a great piece that really focuses on the S&P. It also, explains our six index crediting strategies as well. Um, this is a client approved piece that I'm referring to, so, so check it out. So we have six different crediting strategies. They were all intentionally picked because we know that based on how volatility and everything moves in the future, um, we know that these strategies are going to react well to those changes in the economic environment. And they are all one year crediting strategies. Again, we're just trying to be very clean very simple, not make people wait multiple years to get interest credits. And no fees associated with anything. So here are rates for the month of September. Um, you know, bond rates have just been plummeting. We were very fortunate that um, for September, we, we had a very, very, very modest um, decrease. So we did have to adjust, um, just like almost every insurance company out there, we did have to adjust, but it was very, very minor, again, showing how important the consistency is to us. So I always like starting with the seven year. Here you see, first of all, we have phenomenal fixed rates. This is actually an index annuity that you can make use of that fixed account and it can be a good thing for your client. Okay, so if you think that we're at a high and we've got to be coming down soon, look at that, you can get a 3%, three and a quarter or three and a half percent fixed rate on our product. 
And then our caps are just great. So on the seven year, you can get a 575 cap, 650 on the 10 year or 7% on the 14 year. And look at these participation rates. This is actually our most popular bucket that we have at Equitable with these phenomenal um, participation rates. And look at that, the 14 year, we're all the way up to 55% participation rate on a 14 year. Phenomenal monthly caps. Monthly caps, IC and competition are off, often down in the ones. Um, for those of you that have been in the business for a while, you know that when you can get monthly caps of two and a half and higher, you can get some pretty phenomenal interest credits. So we have some of the great best monthly caps out there. We also have three unique monthly average strategies. And I say unique because what the, these are three different strategies, okay? At Equitable, you never have more than one adjustment applied to a credit strategy. We never would have an annual point-to-point -point with a participation rate and a cap, or a monthly average with a participation rate and a spread, okay? So you can, you and your client can pick which one of these or all of them, which one of these strategies that you'd like. And again, we have great upside potential with these these monthly average participation rate, 75 all the way up to 90. That's phenomenal. And then really, really low spread as well. For Teton bonus, again, same buckets. Everything's the same, except we now have these bonuses. So the seven-year product is a 5% premium bonus. The 10-year, seven, and the 14-year, 10. Please note, we don't have any age bands on here, okay? These bonuses, 5% goes all the way up to age 90. 7% goes all the way up to 85, and 10% goes all the way up to age 80. And then we have still great accumulation potential here with all these buckets. It's just slightly lower because we're talking about, because we have that premium bonus in there, okay? So what I love about Teton bonus, I was really excited where it ended up, because when I look at competition for bonus products, I see low caps, okay? It's like once you get a bonus, you have like, 3% caps out there, okay? With Teton bonus, this is not, do you want bonus or accumulation? This is an and, you get both. You Don't get me wrong, the caps are better on Teton, right? But when you look at that bonus paired with the caps on Teton bonus, you get a great upfront kick to the client's account value as well as long-term accumulation growth as well. So again, we're not doing either or here. At Teton bonus, you actually get bonus as well as accumulation. So one of the things after we kind of look at the rates, I always like to talk about um, some of our product development principles. So this is kind of letting you guys in behind the scenes a little bit with product development. And one of the things we did here is we actually got to build a product completely from scratch. And that isn't a super common thing. A lot of companies try to use older filings and try to make it fit with a new concept. We actually literally built it from scratch um, I typed every word in that policy form, okay? And what that meant is all the way through the design process, as we made all of these little decisions to get the product to what you see it is today, we got to say, okay, if we do A or B, does A improve caps or hurt caps? And if it improved caps, we looked at it, and if it was a good thing for marketing, we did it, okay? If it hurt caps, then we really looked at, is that something we wanna do? Is it worth lowering caps for everybody to have this added feature in it? And one of the things you haven't heard me talk about at all is income, okay? So with Teton, we don't have an income rider. We do let you illustrate RMDs and free withdrawals and everything, but we don't have an income rider on it. And that is because even if we came out with an uncompetitive income rider that you did not care about, guess what it would do? that income guarantee would pull down our caps for everyone. So we said, nope, we're not gonna do it with this one. This is focused on, on accumulation. We'll do income and we'll do it well another day, but today it's accumulation, okay? So we were, so all of that is to say, along the way we really removed product drag that really exists on most products that are out there, whether it's intentional or not, it, it really does exist out there. The other thing, and this is really important, is we use what is called level option budget pricing. Okay, so I'm going to come here to um, Teton 10, okay, with our three and a quarter fixed rate. You can think of that like our option budget, okay? So the client can say, give me three and a quarter this year. I think the market's going to go down. Fine. Or they can say, instead of giving me that three and a quarter, take it, go out to an investment bank and get me a cap, get me an option, okay? So today, 
our investment bank say three and a quarter gets you a six and a half cap. Next year, we're going to take that same three and a quarter and we're going to go out and we're going to say, what's it going to buy me? And they might come back and say it'll buy you six and a quarter this year, or they might say it'll buy you 675 or six and a half. Whatever it is, that's what we're going to pass on. And here's what I know it's going to be very, very, very consistent. And here's Here's where I'm going to let you behind the scenes. We actually do that in Teton and Teton bonus every year. We don't just do it for the first three years, first two years. We actually do that year nine, year 10, year 13, year 14. And what that means, you guys, is you're going to have very, very consistent renewal rates when you get renewals on Teton. Okay, these are not bonus first year rates. This is a level option budget pricing. And a lot of companies I know don't really talk about what they do with renewals, but you guys see it, right? You see your three and your four when all of a sudden you sold a six and a half percent cap and that is now three and a half. That is not because of the economy. Okay. That is because the option budget changed. Okay. And that equitable, we're just very transparent and we're spending the same amount every year. So you're going to have really good renewals. I can't wait for renewals to come out. And we're also planning on publishing those renewals. So you guys will actually get to see that we're doing what, what we said we're going to do. Another thing is this focus on the S&P. We talked about how clean and transparent, how well known it is. The other thing is it is an extremely efficient option market. So when we take that three and a quarter, I get the most bang for my buck, buying an option on the S&P 500. There's really low, um, we just pay like a, flat licensing fee every year where other indexes, I've actually been talking to a number of companies lately, there's all these other fees that are built in to license their index. Okay, the S&P is super efficient um, and all of that leads to higher cap for your client as well. And again, all of this is really done in, with the mindset of making sure that we are a very consistent, um, very consistent partner for you guys long-term. All right, so let's talk about liquidity. So free withdrawals, pretty similar to what we saw in Secure Savings, RMDs right away, and then 5% of the account value starting in the second year. This is a spot where we removed a little bit of product drag, okay? We, at first, we're gonna do 10%. Then we looked at 5%, and we actually added this cumulative withdrawal feature to it that I'll talk about in just a minute. But when we did that, we actually were able to increase cap by offering 5% instead of 10. And what we saw is we were able to increase caps for everyone. And then we could, in addition to that, provide this phenomenal cumulative withdrawal feature that for someone in their time of need, they could actually take out a bigger withdrawal. Okay, so what we do with this is if someone didn't take out their 5% free this year, they can carry it forward to the next year and take out 10. If they don't take that, they can carry it forward and take out 15. And they can do that all the way up to 30%. So what we're trying to do here is, you know, improve accumulation while also still providing great liquidity, but really providing it at the time someone needs it, okay? Um, for annuitization, the full account value can be annuitized even with a premium bonus on the seven and 10 year after five years and on the 14 year after 10 years. We also have great liquidity benefits with our home healthcare rider nursing home, and terminal illness. For home health care, if someone can't do two out of six activities of daily living, even if they're home and they're not incurring expenses, they get access to their account value being paid out over five years. Once they're confined to a nursing home, they get access to their entire account value once they meet the qualifications. And if they are diagnosed with a terminal illness, they get access to their whole account value as well. Full account value is available at death, and just like on secure savings, spousal continuation is available at well and available as well. And again, that premium bonus is included from day one in that death benefit. Here's our withdrawal charges. We won't spend a lot of time on that. This is how they are in most states. You guys know that in like Texas, Missouri, Ohio, Pennsylvania, et cetera, uh, they don't let us do 12% surrender charges. So we actually have a schedule that is 9.3% in those states. And those states also won't have the 14 year. So we'll look at that in a minute. Here's our bonus recovery. <clears throat> you can think of this, excuse me, as a bonus recapture, vesting schedule, same thing. It only comes into play if someone does something where they get hit with a withdrawal charge, okay? 
all of those free withdrawals, all of those death benefits, all of those liquidity riders, none of those have withdrawal charges or bonus recoveries that apply. One thing in the state of Florida, we do have different withdrawal charges, and in the state of Florida, the premium bonus is actually um, 5%, as well as in those states with the 9.3% surrender charge. Um, the seven year still has a 5% bonus, and those states, 10 year has a 5% bonus, and then the 14 year has 10% everywhere. All right, let's check out our illustrations. Um, I love looking at our illustration. It's actually, we actually built it in-house. Again, we're a little different insurance company, and what we saw is that we can provide a much cleaner, quicker, easier illustration system by building it in-house. So that's what we did. Um, I love showing this chart. What this shows is the different strategies we have and the different scenarios we have to show on the illustration system. And instead of you guys having to run like 15 different quotes to see if I want to run annual point to point participation rate or monthly average spread or whatever it is, we just tell you right away how they perform so then you can decide how you want to run your quote, okay? So here I'm going to blow this up. So here's the last 10 years. I was looking at Teton 14. So it shows how annual point to point with cap, participation rate, monthly average, and monthly point-to-point -point would have done. And here you see annual point-to-point with participation rate, 645, okay? So phenomenal. And again, that 645 on the full S&P, we're not talking low volatility, and we're not talking two and three-year point-to-point, okay? So our participation rate buckets just look fantastic. Um, and we also show you how the different strategies would have performed in the the worst 10 out of the last 20 years. So these rates aren't super exciting. I will say these rates are actually similar to what a lot of other companies show, show on um, S&P 500 illustrations for the last 10 years. But this is our worst 10 years and the market actually would have suffered a loss of 6% every year um, effectively for this 10 year period of time. So these are great, this is a, actually a great scenario for why we even have um, indexed annuities. And then in our best 10 out of the last 20, here you see how these strategies can really shine. And we have even the, um, we actually are getting up into the high 7% for compound effective rates of return. And again, these aren't benefit bases. This isn't low volatility. This is actual performance based on, you know, the straight up S&P all one year bucket. So again, you kind of can look at that and then see which buckets you want to run. And then you can actually run our illustration. So I'm today, just for purposes of time, I'm not necessarily going to run through the whole thing. But here you can see it looks very, very, very nice. And what we're going to do instead is walk through a couple case studies and show you guys how Teton really looks on paper. So we're going to look at the Teton 14, $100,000, 60-year-old. We're just going to let the money ride. No withdrawals. And we're going to look at that annual point-to-point -point participation rate. So here we show that annual effective rate of 645 that we saw on some of the prior screens. And let's see what that'll do for us. One thing I do like to point out, this 645 is the actual engine of Teton 14. And I think that's important because what a lot of companies have is they'll show you, based on the scenarios, how different buckets would have done. But a lot of companies then have fees that are dragging that down, right? Nope, not with Teton. That 645 is what is actually the effective yield of these interest credits for the last 10 years. So this is actually, um, this is the last 10 years, 1231, 2008 through 1231 of 2018. And this, I, I actually really like this 10 year period of time. We have a couple good hits. We have three double digit returns. But you know what, we also have three zeros, which is exactly what I expect from the S&P 500. And then we have four good returns, okay? So this is a decent, this is a good scenario. It is not the best scenario, so, okay? So I actually kind of like the scenarios when you look at um, setting expectations for your policyholder. So based on those interest credits, the $100,000 at the end of 10 years would have almost doubled and gotten to 186. Again, this is the account value. We're not talking benefit base. So now we're going to keep letting it grow. And at the end of 20 years, we're up to th almost 350. And at the end of 30 years, we're at $650,000. And we actually go all the way out to age 110. 
and you see that their hundred thousand dollars could have actually turned into over two two million dollars. Okay, so there you see the power of a 645 engine in an indexed annuity. Okay, now let's put on RMDs. Same scenario. We still have that 645. We still have the same interest credits, but now at age 70 and a half, we're going to start taking out RMDs. So our first one is 6816. That leads to our account value dropping from 186 down to about 180, as you expect, right? Once you start taking money out, you kind of expect um, account values to drop. And here it gets pretty interesting. Next year, we take out our RMD of 6790, but we get a 12.9% interest credit. That 12.9%, that engine actually increases our account value even after that withdrawal up to 195. In fact, after two withdrawals, our account value is the highest that it has ever been on this page, okay? And it is not just a fluke, you guys, and we keep going all the way out to age 90. We have now received over $250,000 of income. Remember, they gave us 100. They've gotten two and a half times that back in income. And you guys, they still have an account value of over $190,000. They still haven't even gotten back into their premium at this point, all the way out at age 90. And here we have this cool column in our illustration that is called total benefit. And what it is, it is all of the sum of all the withdrawals that have been received, plus the remaining account value, the remaining death benefit, okay? And that tells you how you gave us $100,000 at age 90, your total benefit would be $444,000. Part of it, you would have received as income, and part of it is your account value, your cash value in this situation, your death benefit, okay? So we show that. You can ignore that column if you want, or you can, you can explain it. Um, but that's there. So here you see... All of a sudden, because of our accumulation engine, Teton, even though we don't have an income rider, it might actually be one of your best RMD solutions that you have out there. So my challenge to you guys is humor me, and when you guys are doing RMD planning, just run a Teton quote and see for yourself how it looks out. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but especially if you have a couple of years where you let indexing do its thing, I think it can end up being an extremely competitive RMD solution. Now, it's not just for RMDs. Let's look at just pulling $8,500 $8, out each year, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So here, this could be like for non-qualified or something. So that same 645, we start taking out 8500 every year at age 70. And again, you see your account value drop from 186 down to 178. We keep going. We get that big interest credit and our account value goes up from 178 up to 191. And again, you guys, we continue age 90, our total income received is 178,500 and we still have almost $300,000 left in our account value, providing a total benefit to the client at age 90 of $465,000. So again, run these quotes, see for yourself how they look, um, and at the end of the day, when you just have a true accumulation product like we have in Teton, what you see is you see great accumulation, which means great illustrated death benefits and great illustrated withdrawal benefits as well. So just to kind of wrap it up, here are here's where the seven-year products are approved, 39 states. We will be releasing a few more states within the next month as well. We're looking at Louisiana, New Hampshire, Delaware, and you know what, there's, I think there might be one more that I can't remember off the top of my head, but we have a couple more states coming. Same state for Teton 10. And for the 14 year is in fewer states because we're not gonna be in Texas, Missouri, and a couple of these tough states, but um, we do have a couple more state approvals coming through for Teton 14 as well. Again, like I said before, we work very hard at thinking about you guys, you know, our our independent agents and how can we make it easy for you guys to do business with us. We have a couple things I wanna mention. We have a suitability pre-qualification form for all of those cases where you're like, 
would you guys consider taking this case or that case? Fill it out. It's a one pager. Send it in to us. We'll get it back to you very, very quickly. Um, and then you'll know right there um, if we'll take it or not. One cool thing, if you're into laddering products, you can actually purchase all three Teton products on one app. You can actually purchase all four Secure Savings and Elite products on one app. Um, again, just another way that if you are doing some sort of laddering strategy, you can have one app, one set of signatures, and actually purchase multiple products. I already mentioned our large case approval form. We have a great financial strength piece. You see a snapshot of it here. It talks about our assets. You get to see how capital and all of that has grown. It also highlights our 114% solvency ratio, which is one, if not the highest, it is one of the highest in the industry that really indicates what a good financial partner we are as well. I already mentioned the how your new will grow. And we also have great pre-approved client ads out on our portal as well. There are just gems out there. Take a look. These, if you just put in if you just fill it in with your name and contact information, you don't have to run it through our compliance as long as you use our ads. How we have it. Last thing, we have a great trip to Nevis in the West Indies where we are staying at the Four Seasons. The qualification period goes through March 31st of 2020. Um, the issued premium is $3 million with a minimum of 10 cases. Teton counts at 100, Teton bonus counts at 100, Elite counts at 100, and Secure Savings counts at 50% and the trip is next June 2nd through the 6th. You guys, we don't have a limit on how many agents we will take. If you hit 3 million over 10 cases by March 31st, you will be coming with us. So great trip, looks absolutely beautiful. Hope you guys will be able to join us. And with that, that's everything I've got. So Laura, thank you so much for having me on and I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you, Carrie. I am going to throw out the last poll question. I don't really have any other slides for you all. If you do want information on the um, products that uh, Carrie went over today, just go ahead and answer yes to the question. Uh, then Ashton in my office will get you out an email today with all the marketing materials as well. So if you are interested, go ahead and answer yes to that. We'll get that out to you before the end of today. I will also follow up with each of you individually to answer any questions you may have as well. So with that, I appreciate you all taking time out of your day to join us. And again, thank you, Carrie, and hope you all have a great Wednesday.